first at 11, a Port St. Lucie man is behind bars tonight, accused of shooting a man who was trying to repossess his car. Good evening, I'm Felicia Rodriguez. I'm Todd McDermott. Thank you for joining us here at 11 o'clock. It happened just after noon today in a residential neighborhood. Ari Height reports from the scene tonight with a video of what happened just before the gunfire. According to Port St. Lucie Police, this all started when a man came to this home on Southwest Villanova Road to repossess a car. The guy inside the house came out, confronted the man. Things got violent, and that's when a neighbor grabbed her phone and started recording. Get out! Get out! According to police, the man yelling in the video is 59-year-old Omar Sukwe trying to stop someone from repossessing his car. Hey, hey, hey. This video was shot by a neighbor who has asked us to conceal her identity. I uh, came outside. I heard um, a bit of a ruckus. The homeowner struck the tow truck driver in the face and then went back into his garage. At that point, the truck driver jumps out of his truck and follows Sukwe toward the garage, the two men constantly yelling at each other. And that's when the neighbor stopped recording. She went inside to her own home to make sure her family was okay. But the yelling continued, so she came back outside. That's when I saw him come out of the garage with the gun and uh, saw, saw that happen. The uh, suspect exited the residence and uh, it, at one point armed himself with a handgun and uh, shot the victim multiple times. I heard four gunshots, one, two, three, four. Police say the victim was able to drive down the street a bit and have a neighbor call 911. His name has not been released. Police say he's 28 years old and is expected to survive. Officers say Sukwe was waiting for them when they arrived at the house to take him into custody. I just can't believe this would happen in our neighborhood. Um, it's, you feel safe, but obviously you don't. Omar Sukwe now faces two separate charges, attempted homicide and aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. He is currently in the St. Lucie County Jail. In Port St. Lucie, Ari Height, WPBF 25 News.